Hey guys, MCU Collector here with another figure review. Next up is the Hasbro Marvel Legends series, the Marvel Studios Marvel Animation X-Men 97 Wave 2. Here we have Magneto. This is the second figure from the wave that I'm reviewing. It is the third figure overall, as I have already reviewed the Goblin Queen. I have the Executioner already that I got from Amazon, and then Magneto I have also gotten from Ma Amazon. Uh, Cyclops, Nightcrawler, and Jean Grey I have coming from uh, Toy Snowman, so I'm excited to get that in the next coming days. Um, and that I will also be getting the Logan Wolverine 2-pack uh, at the same time in that same shipment. So... Um, lots of X-Men figures to come. But here we have Magneto. Um, in Wave 1, we had a more classic-looking Magneto that we know him from the red and the purple. But here we have him in a different suit. There was an old X-Men cover that he had this suit when he was, um, you know, I think running the school. Um, and then in the X-Men series, in the trailer, it looks like he inherits the school. Uh, so some interesting things going to happen in the show. So I'm excited for it. I think March 20th or something like that is going to be the premiere date. So it's coming up soon, and I am excited. This Magneto, we get two alternate heads. Uh, one uh, straight face and then one with his gritted teeth, which is cool. Um, and then we have an extra set of hands. Looking at the back of the package, we got all the figures in the wave to look at. And I am excited for this wave as I am excited for the show. But enough of that. Let's go ahead and get this Magneto out of the package. Um... I was going to say, it's basically the same thing as this, but it's actually not even the same whatsoever. Like, it's completely different. Um, yeah, like, very different. I don't know why I thought it would be the same. Like, everyone's like, oh, look how long his arms are. I don't really see that the arms are super long. People said that on this one, too. I don't really see it. I don't see it on that one, either. Maybe that's just me, but I don't know. Uh, but let's go ahead and get that out of the package, and we'll do a comparison between the two. And because I'm feeling up to it... I will do some head swaps, which I don't typically do, and people get mad when I don't, and they come up with these wild-ass head swap ideas that don't make sense. Some of them make sense, and I just don't think of it or don't get to it or whatever the case may be, but some of them are just wild and don't make sense, and why I would, like, how could you not swap this head on that body? It's like, because it wouldn't make sense. It's just kind of weird, but these two obviously would make sense on this figure, so hopefully they can actually pop on and off because they are not the same bodies uh, whatsoever. So let's get into it. Okay, so here's the Magneto figure out of the package, and it's a pretty good one. I believe, and don't quote me on this, I believe this is the Spider-Man 2099 body, but in pinless form. Because we got the butterfly joints, we got the calf swivel, all of that, but it is essentially the same, but pinless. Now, we have seen figures like that done before, um... And I'm trying to think which one. I think the blur was one similar. Uh, one thing that is different, though, the arm, the, the bicep is likely a different piece because you see where the paint um, meets the, this upper arm. See how clean that paint line is? Um, that is clean because it's actually like a separate piece. So the the bicep is actually like two pieces that are glued together, which is weird. We don't wouldn't typically see that. But because it's an entertainment, you know, from a, a TV show, uh, they get a little bit higher budgets where they could do stuff like that. So instead of just a painted line in there, um, it is just two separate plastic pieces that come together, which is the best way to do it because you don't get paint lines. It's very clean and natural looking because otherwise the skin tone probably would have been painted over this purple color and would have looked really bad or the whole thing, upper bicep, would be skin tone color but and then uh, plastic and then purple painted over and likely would still look bad and you probably wouldn't get a straight line. So the way they did it um, w is quite nice. Now the rest of the figure is uh, just all one color, as you can see. It's just all this purple color. We get an M uh, for Magneto there up in the front of his suit. Um, and that's that's kind of it. The cape um, is a new piece. It's kind of a collar piece that kind of rests over his head. Um, in there like so. The cape actually kind of has the same curves as the other more classic one, but it is a completely different cape. As you can see there, we don't get any real fine details in terms of like the wrinkles and the fold and things like that in the cape. With animated uh, figures, animated series figures, or like what if figures, all of that, you don't get as many of the details in there. It's just kind of a few um, folds and stuff like that to kind of give it that as animated aesthetic. Um, so there we go. So anyway, let's go ahead and get in for a closer look at these two head sculpts of of Magneto. Okay, so here's kind of the gritted, angry looking face there, and that looks really good. The digital print came out nice. You can see the hair, his bangs kind of sticking out over. Came out really, really good. The details in there are quite nice. So I really like that. Again, we get two. This is more kind of the relaxed uh, head sculpt there. 
he looks just he looks ir mildly irritated kind of thing uh, so that is really cool there very easy to pop off you can just grab the head and you can pop it off if you want to do that or you could just actually remove the cape part that does peg in the back there and then you could always swap the heads around that way so you can put the head on there and you can kind of have magneto like so um, and then you can actually just fit this right on over his head look in the back there and then you can actually uh, port that cape right into the peg hole on his back and then you have your magneto uh, completely ready to go and then you can see the M on there it's done in this grayish white color um, it looks pretty clean and then just you know the purple throughout the figure there but looking at the bicep you know way too clean to be paint I looked at that and said no way Hasbro got the paint that clean and smooth um, it's because they didn't it's two separate molded plastic pieces put together uh, to give it a good look so there we have Magneto's uh, close up and looks to him let's go ahead and zoom out for his articulation Okay, articulation time. So Magneto can look down. The head is on a disc hinge, so he can look down that much. Looking up is definitely going to be an issue because he's got a little bit of longer hair in there, so it's not really going to work out. He can move the head side to side. Not really any pivot going on in there. The arm you can get to go straight on out like so. You can do a full rotation in there. There is a butterfly joint, but keep in mind with that butterfly joint, you got a cape. So getting the arm to go back, uh, it goes back so far. And then come, coming forward for crossbody, you can get a little bit, as you can see there. Uh, upper bicep swivel in there. Double jointed pinless elbow. Gives you that much bend there at the elbow, which is quite nice. Wrists swivel, and they do hinge. Standard horizontal hinge on the fists, as well as the open hands. Um, as you can see there, I have it on the right. Uh, ab crunch on Magneto. He can crunch forward that much, which is pretty good. He can crunch back that much. The cape is going to be a little bit of an issue. As you can see, they did keep uh, the M going a little bit further deep in there, which is a nice touch. Uh, waist swivel there. Legs go out that far apart. He can't kick forward that far. Leg doesn't really go back. You got an upper thigh cut in there. Uh, you got a double jointed pinless knee. Uh, which gives us, if I can get that bend in there, that much bend there at the knee. And we do have the mid calf swivel there, so swivel at the calf. Foot hinges down all the way. You get some, uh, you get some hinge up, ankle pivot, peg holes at the bottom of the feet. So, uh, pretty good articulation. Again, I believe it's the the Spider Man 2099 body mold. The arms are going to be different, however, so that would be, I, I would say, um, the only difference there. But it is again pinless at the elbows, pinless at the knees. So there is the Magneto. Okay, so we have Magneto and Magneto. So that we have the Wave 1 and the Wave 2. Again, I w did say I was going to do this, so we're going to... I don't like that. We did not want to come off easily. We're going to pop that head off. There we go. Um, and we're going to put one of the unmasked head sculpts on there. If one fits, and then they both fit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, yes, but it didn't go down as far as I would like. Although... Now that works. It goes on there. It didn't pop in. It felt some resistance on there. Uh, but you can do it. So there is Magneto without the helmet. I mean, you know, I mean, head's still in there. You could pop that head out, but then pop the glue, and then it's not going to work out. It's just kind of crazy stuff. But you could just say, like, oh, look, his helmet's right there. Uh, so the head sculpt does fit on there. So um, that is not too much of an issue. And then, because I know people are going to want to know. They're going to say, why didn't you put the helmeted head on that one? To me, again, that's one of those things where it doesn't make sense. Why would I do it? But hey, if you want to, there you go. It looks weird with the red and the purple and stuff. Uh, it just seems weird. It's a little loose on there, but it's really not an issue. But, you know, again, it, it, it does work. There you go. Okay, so from Wave 2, uh, so far that I've reviewed is the Goblin Queen first. And here now we have uh, the Wave 2 version of Magneto. On to all the X-Men 97 figures now. Okay, so here are all the X-Men 97 figures that I have so far. Again, Nightcrawler, Cyclops, and Jean Grey are on the way from Toy Snowman. Uh, whether there's going to be a Wave 3 or any one-off exclusives anywhere like Target or Walmart it remains to be seen. But I think so far we're just going to get the two waves of the X-Men 97 figures. We had the VHS line that wasn't really upgrades or anything like that. There were cell shaded versions. We had some bangers in there like the, the Cyclops originally that came in there. And we have this one that comes in. But I like the other one way more because of the head sculpt. Uh, we got that Morph figure which was pretty awesome. We got most Mystique. 
like we got Storm, we got Jean Grey, we got Wolverine, but if we got Jubilee, so Jubilee was cool because there's no Jubilee in these waves. Um, um, and, you know, Wolverine was cool there, but we got a better Wolverine now. We got a better Storm now. We're getting a, Jean, a better Jean Grey. Uh, so it's kind of weird that, you know, we're getting some of the characters, you know, in this 97 version when they're supposed to be the same, so they could have just easily done it and just given us, like, the newer characters only. But it works out great because this Wolverine is awesome. This Storm is awesome. When we go pinless and everything, that definitely makes it a lot better. Um... So that's cool. The Magneto figure is cool. He, I do like it more than the classic, but I like the classic look more than this. Um, that one, the legs want to stay together so much, and then it's easy for him to fall over. This one really doesn't seem to have that issue. The paint apps, the very few that are on there, are clean. There's few, but again, looks really good, which is a nice touch. The two uh, unmasked head sculpts are quite nice. I really like them. So pretty awesome Magneto. I know it's a pretty obscure look for Magneto, but you know I know there are fans of that suit and that design um, that, that really like this figure and glad that it came out. So you guys let me know your thoughts on this Magneto figure. Let me know your thoughts on the X-Men 97 series. Are you looking forward to it? Cannot wait for it. I'm kind of in that ballpark, getting really excited for it and can't wait for it to premiere. So you guys let me know your thoughts on the figure and the wave down in the comments below. If you guys like this video, please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And if, you, if you're interested in helping support the channel, uh, hit that join button and become a channel member and be a part of the MCU Collective. And as always, thank you for watching.